drive the labor to install labor materials to install with a two year warranty. Um, I got a price from Stacy Plumbing on an ABB drive, um, 125 horsepower, VFD, and how they want me to do this is they want me to purchase the VFD, which is a cost of, I'll purchase it right from the company Richards, which is a price of $7,871.25, and they said they can install it for $2,616.75. Now, with that being said, I don't know. I don't know if something would happen to that ABB drive. It would be my responsibility. I'm sure that the warranty would not be there. I'm sure I would have a warranty, but then I would have to hire somebody to come in and actually do that work. So, and I think it's like four or five hundred dollars different. So I wasn't quite sure what the the no, no warranty at all. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm sure that the ABB drive is warranty. But if something would happen to that ABB drive, it would fall back on my shoulders. Unlike the Toshiba, I could call Horner and say, hey, there's something wrong with this drive. You need to come down and take care of it. If something happened to the ABB, I'm sure that I would I would have to you know, call Richards and hire somebody to come in and either fix it material-wise or, or whatever. So, so the ABB drive, it certainly have a warranty, but Stacy's, we don't know if they warned it to work. I can't answer that because it's not listed on here. But I, don't know. Uh, I guess that's why I was getting at. The drive itself would be warranty, but as far as I, I don't know, we can't. I can contact them and find out. Warner would bring it, put it on, everything. So, on the shop. Yes. And it's stated right here, it's included as well as a two year warranty. Startup and Startup is included as well as a two year warranty. I swear we're going to have apples and apples. You know, we'll talk a few different things. What do you mean? One, one thing, one does the other, so now we're talking about a $500 difference in the question. Well, a corner is, this is what they do. Right. I understand that. I mean, they work on this electrical stuff. Stacy does electrical stuff, but as far as them, Buying the, the BFD and then turn around and resell it to us, they want me to buy the, the BFD and, and then charge us the labor. I, I understand that one. What I'm saying is if, if we want somebody to take care of it, like Corner, then those are the only kind of bids we accept or we solicit. If there's bids that somebody can take care of. You know, now we're, we're trying to figure out if it's $500 worth the risk of whether it goes down or not, you know. And if it's if we were both the same thing, we would have that. Issue of discussion. Yeah, Stacy just got a truck to do that, I guess. So we're just a little bit. We're selling it. Yeah. And this is the service that we need to do our service in. So. Well, this isn't something we have to act on right now. Well, I, mean, I would love to get it done. You know, it's going to save us money in, in the future. No doubt. No doubt. But I'm, I'm just saying, when we look at these things, they got to be the same thing we're looking at. Otherwise, the price doesn't mean anything. You know, it's like trying to buy a you know, Chevy and a Cadillac. Both cars, but you know. So what you're saying is you want some, not you want another horn company. If that's yeah. what, if that's the one to compare apples to apples. Yeah, if we want a full service company, then we need another, another bid. Just like more, we just want to take care of it. When it's not impossible, you said Stacy might have something. They, we just don't have any information provided that they would. I, yeah, I mean, I'm sure I can say, can you give me something in writing that you will warranty this, the, the labor? Yeah. You know, if something happened to that drive for two years, like morning, that's yeah. what your wishes are. I can I can try to find another company. I don't you, know. Either one, whichever one works for you. Stacy's will put that in writing or find another company. But they got the same thing with the parent for a you know, make a decision. So I don't we we've used corners in the corner in the past and I mean they they do good work. Yeah. They're they're there. Like they don't know. Um this issue comes up a lot of times when you try to pre-purchase the equipment. The risk you run there is that um, the equipment manufacturer will warranty their, their equipment. Um, and you can usually get you know, an installer to warranty their installation. Well, I always will happen if there is a problem. For example, the, the, 
if it's a pump or a VFD, it shows up. It shows up, and it, it, you know, you know, two weeks ahead of the contractor installing it. Well, when they get to install it, the contractor blames it wasn't properly stored or it wasn't uh, delivered or damaged. Now, who's responsible for that? So you run a risk of trying to separate it out so it's not a one-stop shop type of thing. When you're one-stop stop, you get you get a little added insurance or risk protection, so to speak. So, but the idea, a lot of times the only reason it's done at pre-purchase is that as a municipality, you can usually purchase and get it quicker if you're in a time crunch. So that's usually the one place I've seen it done. Is it there? For example, you've got a piece of equipment that's got a six-month lead time. You know equipment you want to use, but you haven't bid the whole project. So you go ahead and purchase the equipment while you're bidding it to save that six-month lead time. Eric, yeah. Rick, is uh, this unit down now? This unit I don't run right now because it's an across-the-line store. So I guess what I'm saying is when you kick it on, I mean, I really don't want to be around it when it's getting covered. So. Why? Well, it scares me if you want to know the truth. Is it a dangerous safety item? I don't believe it's a safety item, but just, I, I've actually shut the whole plant down before starting. It's taken not much of a surge. I mean, shut the whole plant down, the generator comes on. So. My question really was trying to save on electricity. How long is the payback on saving? Nine to twelve months, and that came from the guy that come down, the salesman that come down from Warner. So you saved enough money on that unit to pay for it years time. Yep, or less. But if you're not using it, what's the sense of urgency? Someone can you know, get some well, information to run through next month. Yeah, I can do that. Okay. But my <laughs> sense of urgency, I guess, is that that's another <clears> month of turning high service pumps on and off across the across the line. So. It's not, I mean, it, that's how we've done it for years, so okay. don't get me wrong. But no, we need to know that from you, whether right. it's open tonight or... No. Okay. okay. No. I can try to find another company, and I can also get a whole Stacy C thing, give me that right, okay. and bring it back next month. Oh, I, that's what I'd like to say. Yeah, I think the point Darren's making, and it, and it does make sense, like Robin was kind of saying here a little while ago, that all of a sudden you got somebody you buying it from, and then you got to install one, you got a problem, and then they're both looking at each other's point and saying it was... You know, it was being so I like I like the idea of corner and start to finish. Uh, I like the idea of saving five hundred bucks by going local too. But if you can come up with maybe another one or two companies that can bring it in and install it, then there's less question about who's who's at fault, who's going to fix it. There, you know, you other wishes in that we table this and tell get a little more information on it. I'll have more for you next month. We appreciate that. Also I just want to kind of bring you up to date where we're at on the of course Bryan Street's finished up. We did have to do a little more work on the um, north side of the corner store. We found that the two inch that we was replacing on Bryan Street actually made its way from Broadway all the way around the horseshoe and tied back in behind the corner store. So when we cut that two inch galvanized line and capped it off, uh, put everybody on the new C900, we had uh, two houses behind the corner store there on the north side that didn't have any water. So we dug down and we actually found that where somebody was looking ahead at one time or another and they had already made a wet tap and extended a six inch, 20 foot of six inch um, head and east towards them houses. So we get them tied in, picked up quickly, which we probably need to go back in the future and tie them sixes in together, but we ran a two inch down through there and pick them two houses up. So that's finished. We did start Third Street. Um, we started it yesterday morning, um, a half hour, 45 minutes into the job. We ripped the corporation out. So 
It was actually a crow's foot that tied into the two inch galvanized that fed, that it feeds all of, of Third Street. So we're definitely 